So if you watch this, you uh, have seen me put a lot of snakes into pack rat nests. And I'm taking apart a pack rat nest right now just to make sure there's no snakes in it. I'm gonna show you why. I just caught this guy coming out of this pack rat nest that's right here that I've been digging up. And this is why they like it. So it's a whole bunch of larger debris. Underneath it is smaller debris. All this stuff is put by the pack rat in here. So it makes a really nice insulated area. I'm running some water up at the top to flood from the bottom. And I've been doing that for about 20 minutes. You can see it's just barely starting to get wet at the bottom. That means there's a lot of space under this. It's a pretty extensive cave system. And that is exactly what rattlesnakes are looking for, or any snakes really. Just a place that they can get out of the sun or get out of the cold. And uh, especially in places without a lot of rock, these pack rat nests are essential for that. So we're taking this one apart just because it's next to a house that we've had some rattlesnake issues with. And um, you know, this is a really good way to get rid of pack rats as well without killing them. Um, a lot of times we'll be doing this and we'll see the pack rat grab some babies and run off into the brush. And it takes care of the problem, gets rid of the snakes that might be there and also gets the pack rat to move on. So get a wet, flood it out, pull the top off, spread it out. And if you have to do that a couple of times, that'll work just fine. And that rat will move on and uh, snakes will no longer be able to move it. So I'm gonna take this guy out and uh, just move him a little ways just so he has somewhere else to go where he's not gonna get hit by cars or beat up on by anybody. But he gets to hang out with me for a while. I'm happy about that. See you later.